Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy. In this video I'm going to cover palettes and rooms and how to transition between rooms and what palettes mean for rooms when used with different color schemes within them. To start let's play this demo game here. Palette and room demo appropriately named. So we see here moving around using either arrow or WASD on the keyboard I can interact with a single item found a nice warm cup of tea and that's really it. But there is a space here between the tiles that leads us to believe that perhaps I can do something with it. So approaching it or interacting with it, I see I moved to a different room. And now, of course, the colors changed as well. There are no items to interact with in this room, nor sprites to interact with or approach. However, I can move back towards that opening and I can transition or move to a different room moving towards it, in either case moves me between the two rooms here. And I can do it really fast here. So stopping this demo, let's look at what it's play here. First, within room zero, which is the default room we are looking at right here, we see colors down here at the very bottom is set to the palette zero. Now over, over here in the colors window, we see a background color, a tile color, and a sprite color as well as a color wheel which allows us to choose these different items. Down here though we see palette select name palette zero. This allows us to save those three colors and to use them as part of a palette in different rooms. Each room however can only ever use a single palette at a time. So room zero is using palette zero. Room one over here coming back to room down here in room tools is using palette one. Room one is using palette one. Room zero is using palette zero. This allows us to, coming back over in colors window, use different background colors, tile colors, and sprite colors in different rooms. Each time saving those colors to a palette and assigning the room that palette, which changes its colors. So this allows us to use different color palettes and different rooms to achieve different effects. But again, a room can only ever use one palette at a time. So in this example, we have room 0 with palette 0 and room 1 with palette 1. Now coming back over to room 0, which again uses palette 0, we were able to exit from one room to another. That is done through add exits window, in this case exits window. So by default it allows us to place a new exit from the current room to a different room. However, since I have already placed exits, it shows them on the current room. And we see two things here. One is to room one, an exit from room zero to room one, as well as a response here from another room, in this case room one, to room zero. The combination of these two allows us to move from room 0 to room 1 and then from room 1 to room 0 back and forth. So we see here I have placed a single exit in this room, it is currently highlighted, and tells us in text right above it to room 1. And it shows here I've placed the destination tile right here or right next to it what it would have been on the other side. And of course, this exit goes to room one. Now, within room window, we'll go down to room tools, and we go over to room one, we see a very similar thing. In this case, we see the text to room zero, and it shows us over here in exits window where that destination is, as well as we see text, although slightly grayed, from room zero. And again, I've placed an exit from room zero to room one, and then in room one, from room one to room zero. So we can go back and forth each time when we interact or approach those exits on the different rooms, creating the effect of extended space moving from one room to another. Now, as long as there are other rooms existing, we can create exits to them. However, you can't exit to a room that you are currently in. That would be a little absurd. 
However, you can exit to other rooms. So we could extend this quite a bit by continually adding new rooms down here within room tools in the room window. We could add, add a large array up to as many uh, blocks within the room as we wanted to exit to various different places and various different rooms to achieve various different things. In each case though, we have to remember to add an exit using the exits window, using the place new exit button to then place an exit in the current room to a different room. In our example, however, we have a very simple, to play it here, example of using room one with palette zero and an exit from or a room zero with palette zero with an exit to room one. And when we get into room one, it has palette one with an exit back to room zero, which we can see with the exits window open it highlights it for us, and as we move between rooms, it shows us the exit to a place and the destination exit from a place each time. However, we close the exits window, the exits are no longer highlighted. So if we would like to see what exits exist within a current room, we need to open the exits window. We can look at the exits window through, of course, going to add exits within room tools within the room window, or within tools at the top, clicking on exits and it will show us within the room the current selected exits to a place and the destinations from a place and when we click on them it will show us where those end up. So we can see here to room one and an example and if we were looking at room one we see the same thing when we select it to room zero and of course the destination. So this has been an example of how to use different palettes in different rooms, remembering of course that one room can only use one palette at a time, as well as how to place and then use exits from one room to another. Remembering of course you cannot exit to the room you're in, however you can exit to other rooms as long as those rooms exist. And you have to select them from the drop down, so if they don't exist they won't be an option anyway. So you can move between rooms creating more space within a game, and of course moving to other rooms and other places, creating the uh, illusion of movement between rooms and then movement between and across space at the same time. Thanks for watching.